Individuals and communities throughout Pittsburgh are taking action to transition vacant land into platforms of community resiliency and prosperity through green investments. This embodies the concept of growth through energy and community health. Bucksbury has a high incidence of rental properties, very few homeowners. I think there are about eight or ten vacant lots on the streets. We have a pretty diverse population on the street. Um, you know, there, there's still definitely some blight issues. Before there was a play yard here, there was a, an abandoned house here with a garage and back full of, of tires. And it was just icky and ugly and a place for kids to hang out and get in trouble. As we identified these uh, two lots that GTEC was so greatly utilizing with our children because they loved it and it was a good experience. We thought about, you know, turning it into a creative play yard for them to play in. So Junior House is actually an inpatient drug and alcohol program for addicted moms and their kids. And so Jenner House Moms is for mothers who are homeless and with children or pregnant and uh, in early recovery. The kids were involved in the design of the project and the moms and, and some people in the neighborhood in choosing what kinds of things that they'd like to see in the play yard. More than half the materials here are found, donated materials, pre-existing materials. All of this area was just, it was like compacted clay. It was really hard. We were able to save and extend that budget several times over by using materials we found here. To the kids, this was their place, and they were involved here making it happen. The can-do attitude became theirs, too. ELDI's perspective is completely positive for something like this. When a community member comes to us and says, hey, I want to you know, open a play yard for, for kids, for the kids for the Sojourner Moms House, you know, we take our resources, our fundraising resources, our volunteer resources, whatever it is, and try to help facilitate that project as much as possible. As a parent, I have three small girls and we live on the street. And Black Street's a pretty busy street, and I think a lot of times the kids in the neighborhood don't really have a safe place to play. So having a place that you know, has a fence across the front of it and is, is well protected, um, but is also pretty spacious for kids to run around in, I think has been a huge help to a lot of families. The kids embraced it. They came into this exercise looking for plastic jungle gyms here and, and realized that there were other ways to play. I think it's really expanded their horizons. My girls are really young and so having a place that's you know conducive to a two-year-old running around um, is pretty great. You know they've gotten their bumps and bruises but that's a good thing I think you know they've just been learning how to play outdoors which is a really important thing for kids to learn. We couldn't have done this without the tremendous volunteer support and GTEC was instrumental in getting this started um, and getting us linked with the right people to make it happen. I'm excited about the fact that our, our GTEC partners are actually talking to us about building some of the missing features that we weren't able to build or fund initially uh, and looking forward to perhaps a little second phase of construction here.